Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Still cold, snowy, kind of nasty the last couple days. We had a lot of freezing rain and then we got a couple inches of snow on top of that. So it's kind of made a mess. You can see when everything looks like here. So we're going to get the new hauling out. I got the bucket on it. We're going to scrape the driveway at least, try to get around and get that cleaned out and then we'll go do some chores and we'll take a peek out there at the cows again uh, we'll get back with you here in a little bit yeah i got the tractor running we'll let it warm up a little bit go over here and check these calves it's uh i don't know i think it's about noon here it's only about 15 degrees so it makes it kind of fun when you got livestock or any kind of animals when it's this cold. Try and keep their water so they can get access to it and get around in the snow and the ice here. And uh, These guys are, oh, they're about six to nine months here. We've got them weaned. We'll go out and kind of show you the other ones there. They're... Uh, about two months kind of see the size difference just kind of get a peek at them I think there's a couple up here eating but uh, like I say we're gonna grade the driveway here haven't been uh, in or out for a couple days here with the weather we've had it's been pretty nasty so Get it graded out so we can go somewhere in the next couple days. And like I say, we're gonna take some bales out to the cows here, which we've been doing quite a bit. That's about all we do, I guess, in the winter time. This kind of weather is kind of, I guess it looks nice, but it's kind of nasty to go out and do anything, especially when it's cold. It's not as bad when it's in the 20s or 30s, but. I'll show you a little video here. We get some plowing done and then we'll get into something else. Yeah, I'll give you a look here. I don't know if you can see very good. Kind of what the driveway looks like. Up here you can see I haven't plowed, so we gotta see if we can find the driveway. It's kind of blended in with the yard here, so. Like I say, we got uh, a good bit of ice underneath all this, so I ain't sure if grading it's a good answer or not. But I'm gonna try to get some of it off. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. I think be up in the mid 30s here in a couple days, so hopefully we can get some of it melted off. Just some of the things you get to deal with in the northern. We don't get near as much snow as some people do, so I guess we can't complain. At times it would be nice to live down south in the winter time when it's warm and no snow. Like I say, it uh, makes it more of a chore to the animals, taking care of them. And when it's like this, that's about the only thing you get done. So. I just use the bucket on the front end loader. It scrapes it off decent. Um, we got a greater blade to put on the back of the tractor, but this is just about as easy and quick. Ice is definitely making it more challenging to, than if it was just all snow.
just put the bucket in the float position. It'll actually just slide across the ground about like a snow plow. Driveway's long enough that we pile some here, it's about halfway, and then we pile some out the end of the driveway. So I'm sure it'll be a month or month and a half before the big snow piles ever melt. And then we can clean up all the gravel that we scraped out of the driveway into the yard. I'm gonna get back to this here. I get finished, we'll get back with you. Hey, we got some of it plowed out. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, there's still, that's the main road right there. There's still two, three inches of hard packed snow on it. I scraped off there at the end of the driveway by the mailbox. So. We, uh, I'm going to scrape some more out here around by the barn and then we'll go out, check on some cows and see what's going on out there. Got a little surprise out there we'll show you, so keep you in suspense till we get back. Alright everyone, I think we got enough snow pushed, got a pile there. We're going to go over here and take the bucket off the tractor. Get the bale spear put on so we can go feed some round bales. I'll uh, show you guys how we switch these attachments out. For those that don't know, most people I suppose know by now, but we'll show you here real quick how we take the bucket off and put the spear on. It's pretty easy. Uh, we got some blocks of wood right here to right unhook this bucket that way it don't freeze to the ground so to switch these these are uh, it's called a skid steer style just pull up on these yellow handles and that's what releases the bucket Get up here and roll the roll it back and it'll fall off. And then we just pull up to the bale spear and do the same thing. I don't know how well you guys can see, but right there we detached it. So now we have nothing on. There's the later with nothing on it. Over here to the building, I tried setting the bale spear in the building to keep it out of all the freezing rain that we got. We can drive over here, get it. We just push our yellow handles back down and latch it on. Then I had to go dig out the bales. I'm sure it'd be interesting today with all the ice we got melted on top of them. little bit of room right here behind the combines where we tried sticking the bale spear the other day. I don't know how well I can do this. kind of hard to see. One handed there.
all out. And we just come down here and latch the handles back down. Now it's locked on. What do you want to do? Okay. So we fed the cows here. We unrolled a bale today for them. Something a little different. Give them something to lay on. After they pick through and eat it. They waste some of it, but not all of it, so they'll eat most of it. Then I'll give them a dry, warm place to lay down later tonight. Instead of feeding them in the round bale feeder like we normally do. Which I'll set a bale in there for them here after a bit. But here is uh, one of our calves. They're just about two months. You can see the size of him. About two months old there. And we'll go up here. Got my helper today feeding. We'll go up here and show you the surprise. So. Stay back from the little one, bub. Here is another one that's roughly two months old how well you can see see the size of it there's another one that's two months and then we got this little guy I don't know I made a little video the other day when I found him now yeah, come out to feed today and I think we got a little surprise up here. The bale feeder. It looks like we got an extra calf out here in the field today, so. Let's say we got one more to start feeding and taking care of. Somebody had a calf while it warmed up and was nice yesterday. Give you guys a look here. We're up here eating off of mom. You guys can see that or not. Can't really tell on my screen here, but there's the newest little one we found. So we'll give you guys a update on a later video. He's uh, about three days old now. He's very skittish. And we come out today and this one was born first thing this morning if you can see. She's, uh, this will be her second calf. Right there's the mother she's had. So she's up doing good today. And this little one is just a few hours old right now. So I thought I'd give you guys a little surprise there with a couple new calves. Really not the ideal weather to be having calves in, but uh, we had some problems with the bulls getting out last year, so they're bred a little early. All right, just wanted to give you a look. Uh, we did have a couple unwanted visitors this morning we had a couple coyotes out here i assume since she was just having that one they were out here being awful curious we don't like seeing them around but 
little guy's up moving, doing good, so he was just nursing when we come out, so it's always a good sign. All right, new calf and mom there, so looky there, looks like we're going to get something to eat now. All right, I think that's going to be about it. What do you think, little guy? You going to tell everybody bye? Bye. All right, we'll keep, see you next time.